Okay, so let's continue with question number 24. So suppose we have a table below. We have their different towns with their corresponding binary values, which is the result of applying some function to these towns. So you were asked to insert the binary keys into an initially empty extendable hashing data structure with m equals 2 and starting at d equals 1. So m there would be the number of records that you can fit in a bucket and then d would be the number of bits used in the root or in the directory. Okay, so let's start at d equals 1. Okay, I can't, I can't find my cursor. There you go. So at d equals 1, I need to say I will have to start first with one bit in my root directory. Okay, so the first binary to be inserted is 0010. That's the binary equivalent bright Brighton. So I can put that under 0 Brighton. Okay, so again, the lines are coming up. And then the next is clear view, which is 1101. Then I can put that under 1. Okay, clear view. Then the next one is downtown with binary 1010. Then I can put that under clear view. So the next is Mayanus with binary 1000. So obviously, it should be put here. But since the maximum records is only 2, then it's not possible to insert Mayanus there. So the only option would be to split that and increase my directory 2. So meaning to say, I will now be using 2 bits in my root directory okay so zero 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 one one zero one one so i will start first with the bucket that i will have to split so since clear view is one one zero one so i can put clear view here okay and downtown is one zero one zero so downtown will be placed here okay then the one the recent key to be inserted is mayanus so i can put that under downtown since it has a binary value of one zero zero and then brighton here and it will have two pointers okay then the next is Perry Ridge. Perry Ridge has a binary 1111. So I can put that under clear view. Okay. And then the next is Redwood, which has a binary equivalent of 1011. So since the bucket is already full, then it's time to split it again. So I will increase my directory equals so I will be using now 3 bits in my directory okay sorry about that okay so it's really hard to draw <laughs> it's better drawn on paper okay zero one zero zero one 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 zero zero one one zero and one 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 okay since redwood should su be supposedly placed here and that's the bucket that i need to split so i'll split it so downtown is one zero one zero so i can place it here here downtown Okay, then Mayanus is one zero zero zero, so it's here. 
<coughs> so next is redwood redwood is 1011 so i can put that under downtown okay then i can put um clear view and along with Perry Ridge here which will have two pointers I hope it's clear <laughs> and Brighton will have all the pointers left okay there okay then we have the last one which is round hill 0101 so since there's only one record which is Brighton, so I can put round here, round hill together with Brighton. Okay, so I hope it's clear, <laughs> although it's very messy. So clear view and Perry Ridge goes together with two pointers, one one zero and one one one. Downtown and Redwood go together with pointer one zero one, and Mianus one zero zero and Brighton and Round Hill with the rest of the pointers. Question 25. Both binary search trees and hashing can be used to implement insert and find operations. When is hashing a better data structure compared to binary search trees? So hashing would be better compared to binary search trees if no ordering information is required. Okay. And if the if you have an idea that the input might be sorted, then hashing would be better, since binary search trees are quite expensive to implement, and sorted input can make binary trees perform poorly. Okay. Next, twenty six. Give two applications of hashing. So one would be in the area of compilers. Hash tables are used to keep track of declared variables in source codes, and we call that symbol table. Another one is in games, so we use what we call transposition table to keep a list of previous moves that a player makes. Number 27. Folding is one of the hashing methods used for integer keys. Given a key of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, show the hash value using fold shift and fold boundary respectively okay so this is how folding works so you have a key one two three four five six seven eight and nine so with fold shift okay we divide that into three three parts and add it okay so we add this then we'll get um get 18 okay then we have 16 oh. and then we'll have 1368 so for full shift we ignore the carry bit so 368 would be the result in fold ship so how about in fold boundary so in fold boundary it's the same except that we reverse one two three we add four five six and we also reverse seven eight nine okay so we add them and we get 14 Okay, we get 6 here, and we get 17, and also ignore the carry, so we get 764 for fold boundary. Okay, so I hope it's clear, even though the lines keeps messing it up. Okay, so that's the end. If you have questions, feel free to email using our Yahoo Groups. Thank you.